What's up everybody? This is Petey from SupplementReviews.com bringing you a video review for MGS Nutrition Macrolution. This is the newest product from our boy over at uh, MGS Nutrition, the owner, Mark Lobliner. He was kind enough to send this over to us to try out, to test out, to see if it was worth all the hype of being the ultimate meal replacement. So let's dive right on into this here. Looking at the front of the container, I like the shiny M, that's clever marketing Mark, pun intended. Underneath says the perfect RMRP for meal replacement protein. Promises to have advanced EFA enriched whey protein, rich in appetite controlling fiber, containing 100% whey protein with no cheap protein sources, the Aura AC equivalent of multi servings of veg multiple servings of vegetables, and maybe in the chocolate flavor. This is a 2.8 pound container, and as it says on the thing, Macrolution MRP. All right. Let's start with taste and mixability. In terms of meal replacement, some of them have been pretty dang bad in the past. This one, however, is actually pretty tasty. It tastes like hot chocolate, has a nice rich sweet flavor to it, and it doesn't have that funky aftertaste because it's not filled with cheap maltodextrin or other crappy carbohydrate sources. So looking at this one, I really like the taste. It's actually very satisfying. It has a nice smooth texture, it mixes well, and it's hard to go wrong with chocolate. It tastes really good, and overall, I get it to a good mixing rating and mix, uh, taste rating of 9.5 out of 10. Now, more important, when you promise to have a complete MRP, we need to look at the nutrition facts. So looking at it right here, uh, it's got 43 grams in one scoop, and there's 30 scoops per container in this 2.8 pound uh, tub. In each one, it's got 195 calories, 58 from fat, I like the precision there, 6 grams of total fat, two of which are saturated, we'll get to that in a second. Cholesterol is pretty low. It's at 20 milligrams, 7% of daily value, depending on your caloric needs. Sodium is at 8%. Potassium at 3. Total carbs at 8 grams, with 3 grams of that coming from fiber, and only 1 gram of that coming from sugar. 21 grams of protein, and 115 milligrams, or 11% of your daily value of calcium. Overall, I like the balance here. However, uh, for some, are going to be complaining about is that it doesn't have that many carbs for being a meal replacement protein. Um, the thing that I like about it a lot, actually, and I see the direction it went with this here, is you can customize your carb sources. The majority of the carbs here are coming from those added vegetables, and there's two grams of fiber. There's no maltodextrin, there's no cheap fillers in there. It's literally all coming from the protein sources and the vegetables, so I'm okay with that. I'd rather eat the whole food anyway on the side, and that way I can definitely customize my protein rather than not be able to use a protein product because I have to cut back on my carbs. So overall, with the carbohydrate blend in there, in other words, fiber-rich carbs, fibers all. I like it. I dig it. Uh, the fats in here is at 6 grams. That's all coming from the whey protein concentrate that's in contained in this, as well as some EFA blend. Um, with whey protein in there, with the concentrate, you're going to have higher fats because it's closer to a whole food protein. The bioavailability is like, going to be higher with less processing, so that's to be expected. Additionally, there's MCTs in here and from the sunflower oil powder. So that's where also that six grams is coming from. The two grams, anytime you have medium chains of glycerides, technically that's a saturated fat. So don't be concerned when you see two grams of saturated fat in a product like this, because it's coming from medium chains of glycerides or also a little bit from the whey concentrate. All right, so uh, 21 grams of protein. I like the balance there as well. It's all coming from whey and I have no issue with that. Um, Specifically with the ingredients on this one, you got the EFA whey, uh, unique whey protein, high phospholipid complex, whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate to round out the blend. It also has fiber salt, which is where some of the carbs are coming from, and I got two, three grams of it in there for the fiber. Sunflower oil powder, cocoa, coconut oil powder, medium change of glyceride powder, aka some more MCTs. Uh, vegetable powder blend includes tomato, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, natural artificial flavor, xanthan gum, sucralose, just in a little amount, and silica. Overall, I mean, some of those vegetables for a lot of people aren't going to be that tasty. So if you're having trouble getting your greens in, this would be another solution for you. Put it in there, okay? Why well, if you can't you drink, eat it, then put it in a powder. Um, I like the concept behind it of having a well-rounded blend rather than relying on just the macronutrients, but also including the micronutrients of having the vegetables in there. So that is a cool concept and I see what he means when he has a complete meal replacement protein. It's more than just protein and carbohydrates. It also has some nutritional value in terms of micronutrients. So kudos to you on that Mark. 
Overall, for the ingredient profile, as well as the calorie profile, which is rated in here because it's a meal replacement protein, it gets high marks. It's highly customizable, yet it's not going to go overboard in any department, and it's not going to leave you lacking. I like the ingredient selection in it, and I like the choice of, uh, I guess, the ingredients that went into it in terms of fibrosol, as well as whey protein concentrate, which is close to a whole food source since it is a meal replacement compared to an isolate. So, overall with this one, it gets a pretty good rating here. It gets a 9.4 out of 10. It's one of the best meal replacements I've seen on the market because the majority of the market is flooded with crap that has maltodextrin and cheap carbohydrate, very close to sugar, and it doesn't rely on other fillers. So, what you see is what you get. Everything is clearly listed in the ingredients. It's closer to a whole food compared to some other meal replacements, which I dig, and it's going to be pretty tasty to round that out. So, having all those ingredients with that very customizable um, I guess product here is not going to be like a gainer where you're getting five to six hundred calories in a serving, okay? So you don't have to cut back to a quarter of a serving, then be short in your protein and have to make it up elsewhere. Overall, I like it. If you need more, you can always add in another scoop. Two scoops are going to yield you 42 grams of protein and about six to 12 grams of fat with that unique MCT blend in there. I like MCTs, they have good positive benefits in terms of body composition. And, you know, they're a nifty and emerging, I guess, supplement in terms of products these days. So, I'm not surprised to see it in there. I'm glad to see it in there, and I like the inclusion. All right. Next up, effectiveness. It's really hard to rate a protein. It's something that is honestly what I usually refuse to do because you're not going to have this magical benefit of taking any certain type of protein. The main thing you got to rate this on is how it makes you feel. You might get a little heavier stomach on this stuff because it does have 3 grams of fiber. However, it's not going to make you feel weighted down, gassy, or bloated because the protein selected in here is high quality. The carbohydrates fibrosol are from dietary um, fiber and it's not going to make you bloated. However, it will have the satisfying effect combining protein as well as the fiber in there, so it is going to help with satiety. So this could be handy for a cut if it fits into your macros. So, in terms of effectiveness, I found a good way to fit it into my di uh, diet, especially on a cut. It's something satisfying and, hint, hint, if you know how to do it correctly, maybe adding a tablespoon or two, wink, wink, of a little bit of coconut flour, which is defatted dehydrated coconut that has 5 grams of fiber and 2 grams of MCTs per serving, uh, for, per two tablespoons, you can make a handy dandy little pudding with the addition of a scoop of this and some water. That's something I'll be posting a video about later on on how to make protein pudding for your, carbo or your uh, goodie cravings on a cut. Regardless, this fits the bill in that department. It's an effective protein, and I don't think you can go wrong with it. I didn't have any digestive issues with it. It's a nifty way to get your vegetables in without adding additional carbs as um, well as having a good taste. So overall, for effectiveness, it gets a 9.0 out of 10. There isn't a magical protein, but this definitely is some good stuff to try to fit in your diet if you need to get some extra nutrition, which can be kind of hard to do if you have to cut out certain things. In terms of value, there's a lot of uh, meal replacements out there at a similar price point. You get 30 servings per this one, and the calories are generally a little bit lower compared to most meal replacements. However, what they make up for in terms of having the lower calories, they make up for in quality of calories. It's not a matter of calories in versus calories out sometimes. You have to also consider the general health. I like what he did here. I like that he put in the additional, like I said, the fiber, uh, more biologically available protein source, as well as a fiber salt, rather than throwing in random maltodextrin, sugars, or other fillers. So, high kudos here in terms of uh, value here, because you're getting a lot of good stuff in the price that you're paying for it. So, effectiveness-wise, um, you know, it did rated very well, as well as it is going to in value. For 30 servings, for what you get, it's a very customizable, tasty, and well-thought-out product here. I give this a good mark. It gets an 8.9 out of 10. It's not going to be a cheap product. It isn't an everyday item. But however, if you need it uh, in terms of calories or f finding a nifty way to, guess, kill some cravings because it does taste pretty good, or if you're looking for the angle of incorporating some more micronutrients for overall health, this is a good one to look into. The ingredients are solid. The idea behind it is solid. And I like the concept behind it for the price. So, overall with this product, I like it a lot. I was... Uh, you know, a little disappointed for a while there when it kept getting delayed, kept getting delayed, but hey, there's a lot of thought that went into this in terms of what direction he wanted to go. I'm glad that he settled on the direction that he did in terms of making it close to a whole food source, which is pretty cool and pretty unique, and I do like it overall. Overall, it's going to get a 9.4 out of 10. It's a good, solid product. If you need a meal replacement, definitely look into it because it's highly customizable. It's priced well, the ingredients are solid, and it's pretty dang tasty. All right, guys. 
This has been Petey from SupplementReviews.com coming at you with a review for Macrolution MRP from MCS Nutrition. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and our Twitter and our Instagram and all that good other social media stuff. And also keep a lookout for us at all the fitness expos. We'll be at the Arnold Expo in a couple weeks here. Even if this video is out after that, we'll be at more. So anytime there's an expo in town, check out the forum. See if we're going to be there. Stop by and chat. And if you have anything else, make sure to email us. You can reach me at pd at supplementreviews.com if you have any suggestions. Other than that, you have a good day. Mm -hmm.